back to my channel. Today we have a slightly different video. Usually on Sundays we have hauls and this Sunday we have a slightly different video. We have my eight week transformation sort of sit down video. I'm gonna talk to you guys all about um, the eight week cut that I've been doing. <laughs> only officially seven weeks into the cut and technically the first week was like much 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 of an adjustment week of like sorting out what I wanted to do with my nutrition what I wanted to do with my workouts and everything like that this is more of like a six week overview if you don't have a clue um what I'm on about then don't worry everything will be shortly explained explained shortly explained shortly Everything will be explained in a minute, basically. So, first off, the reason that I chose to um, film this video today was because today is the day, literally right now, you guys are gonna be watching this at 11 a.m. and at 11 a.m. on the dot, so already, um, my eight week fitness guide, uh, it's called the Busy Bee Eight Week Summer Shape Up, and my nutritional uh, ebooks, so my Busy Bee meal ideas and my vegan Busy Bee meal ideas ebooks will have gone live. So we have three releases today and um, they are 15 pounds each and those went live literally 11 o'clock today. Guides were, that I created were based around slash inspired by my um, sort of eight week cut that I was on. Um, whether you guys wanna get the guide or not, like this video is, um, still here to kind of explain what I've done on my cut and hopefully um, be helpful to you guys to just give you an idea of what I did with my workouts and my nutrition and all of that jazz. So let's just jump straight into my eight week cut and why I kind of chose to do it and things like that. So if you guys don't know what a cut is, a cut is basically um, losing fat. So I wanted to lose a little bit of body fat. I didn't want to lose um, my muscle that I've built so far and I almost wanted to tone up. I know a lot of people hate in the fitness industry hate the word tone, um, but that was kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to lose body fat and look more sort of muscular. So therefore kind of like toning up if you get me. So before I started my cut, I was in no way in a place where I hated my body or I was like, oh my gosh, I need to change or anything like that. Like I preach self love to you guys and I honestly did completely love myself then, I completely love myself now, and this is what I think I, I, I like to express, is that wanting to change your body, challenge yourself, lose body fat, gain muscle, build curves, that does not mean that you don't love yourself before you do those things. I was still in shape when I started my cut. It had been, so since like before slash around Christmas time, I kind of lost a real like massive amount of motivation to be going to the gym and doing stuff like that. And um, I remember I was like, right, it's January, I'm just gonna like go for it now, like back in the game. And I really freaking struggled for months, like January, February. Um, I had the new house in February, the new dog in February. We were super freaking busy. I was making, not excuses, but there were lots of reasons why I was just really struggling to um, find motivation, sort of stay on, not even stay on track, but just stay like nutri eat nutritional foods and things like that. So I was really struggling for like, a lot of the beginning of 2018. So going into my cut, I wanted the cut to be sustainable. Everything that I do, every kind of thing in the gym, like I love it to be for life. My sort of fitness, my journey, my progress, everything is like a lifestyle. When you see like these eight week transformations and you're like, oh my gosh, like someone goes from like, just crazy, you know? Wow, my words are really coming out well today. The more crazy it is, the more you restrict your calories, the more, um, a sort of OTT you go, the, the, the seriously less likely you are gonna be, gonna be able to, <laughs> my words, um, maintain the changes you've made. So the first thing that I did was look at my nutrition. Nutrition is the thing that I struggle with the most, by far, nutrition is the thing that I find the hardest. Like, honestly, I just love cake, I love chocolate, I love food, I'm lazy, I hate cooking. Like, I'm just like the world's worst nightmare when it comes to nutrition. So, I contacted my friend's personal trainer who was a nutritionist and I said, right, sort me out, I need help. <laughs> I want some 
meal ideas. I didn't want a meal plan. I didn't want specific things to follow every day. I didn't want to be tied down to anything. I didn't want to cut out carbs. I didn't want to do anything like that. I want to enjoy, enjoy my fitness journey. So I wanted meal ideas. I wanted something that made me think, oh my gosh, yes. Good idea, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna slightly change it for this and I'm gonna add this for this and then this is my new favorite healthy meal idea. So that was what I did, I found meal ideas and honestly, meal ideas were a freaking game changer for me. So for workouts, I had been doing my workouts all fine at the gym, I love working out at the gym, like gym, I do love the gym and I don't often struggle to get to the gym but I had reached a point in my life where I was feeling a little bit demotivated and I wanted to change it up. I am such a strong believer in changing it up. The way to sort of see change and make progress is to be consistent and dedicated to the gym and the way that I'm consistent and dedicated to the gym is to enjoy it and the way that I enjoy it is kind of with fresh new ideas and like changing things up. So I decided I wanted to take it back to basics a little bit. I didn't want to have to think too much about it. I was already trying to focus on the nutrition. I couldn't be focusing on the like crazy complicated workouts. I just want to take it back to basics and um, keeping it challenging but effective. Now, for my workouts, I went to my good friend Connor Swift. Um, I, as you guys know, you do know his girlfriend, Ellie Darby. We did a video together, and honestly, she's one of my best friends. She's just the most lovely, gorgeous girl in the whole world. And me and Connor kind of like sorted out a plan for me, and yeah, I fell in love with the plan. And I was ready to like start and like go full force with my meal ideas and my nutrition. Same thing. My meal ideas and my workout guide, I was ready. But the other thing that I needed to focus on before going into my eight week cut was my mentality. Now, I do have, um, I haven't in the past, let me tell you, I haven't in the past had a good relationship with food. This was way before I started my YouTube or Instagram. I had a bad relationship with food. I did not love my body. I did not love myself. I tried slimming shakes. I really hate admitting this, but I need to because I think it's uh, relatable and I think it's what a lot of people go through where you're like, I can't make progress, I actually can't do this, nothing's working for me. I even started looking up um, things online like um, the gels that you take that fill up your stomach so you don't have to eat that much food. Um, I looked into like um, all different things, waist trainers, this, that. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you now, I, I, I went through it all, like I went through such a really low, dark stage with really hating my body, not loving myself at all, and just not being able to found, find what worked for me. Because let me tell you, none of that worked for me. None of that worked for me, trust me. <laughs> As I'm trying to say, mentality is um, such an important thing. In my personal preference, don't weigh yourself, don't... Um, be too hard on yourself, love yourself, realise that a lot of what you're doing is for your health benefits, you're getting fit, you're getting strong, like it's not all about waking up every day and looking in the mirror and being like, mm, 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 no progress is made, literally on the first day, like I'm a sucker for doing things like that. Stupid thing when you wake up and you're like, how am I doing on my cut? It's day two. We just need to calm down, we need to focus on what we're doing, we need to get on with the plan, we need to enjoy it, it's a lifestyle and the progress will come and it will make sure that you're not mentally sort of stressing out and just kind of ruining your motivation and progress with your own mentality. I know that is, mentality is a massive thing. At first, I didn't see much change. So like weeks one, weeks two, weeks three, there was little bits of change and um, I was getting into my workouts and I was really enjoying myself. I was sort of learning a bit more with my meal ideas, like what kind of healthy things. I was a little bit, still a little bit slacky on the meal ideas. Like I was still kind of like getting takeaway every now and then and eating a bit too much chocolate like every single day. Um, but my workouts were smashing it and that was really good. Um, I started to see a lot of progress in my back, first of all. So back is, um, I love having like a nice toned back, like that's one of my favourite things and luckily during this cut my back was one of the first places and it still is one of the places that I've seen the most progress made. There's a lot more tonage at the bottom and it, it sort of came in and then went out a lot more towards the top and the muscles at the top and everything like that were becoming a lot more prominent so my back gave me um, quite a lot of motivation, I was like okay changes are being made. Um, you know, they don't get made everywhere at once or sort of, they don't get made overnight, that's for sure. <laughs> but there was changes being made in my back and I was really happy about that. Now, my stomach, oh my gosh, my stomach is somewhere where um, 
Bear in mind, like I said, I was not super out of shape before or anything, so I don't ha I didn't have a lot of fat to lose. My stomach is somewhere where I really like struggle to lose fat. And what I've learned in the past and have to remind myself is that a lot of stomach um, fat lossage, hmm, not a good way to put that sentence together. A lot of fat stomach fat loss comes from what you eat in the kitchen so my workouts were on point and I came to a point where I was like okay you know what I'm just gonna actually get really stuck in with my meal ideas I'm really enjoying all the meal ideas I'm having I'm just being a little bit lazy and kind of replacing my meals with chocolate a few too many times so I'm gonna stick to having my three meals a day from my meal plan and my two snacks like I said the meal sort of ideas foods on super restrictive it's not like you don't get cheese you don't get sugar you don't get this you don't get carbs it's everything you get everything you get a bit of everything it's just learning how to cook things in proportion and learning what meals where the foods go in those meals and things like that so um anyway I started to see a lot more progress. I got stuck in with my food. I carried on with my workouts. I really started pushing myself. The whole process, my leg um, muscle pretty much stayed the same, if not got like a little bit more, looked bigger, but weren't actually bigger, but just were a bit more toned. Glutes slash bum, bum is glutes, if you don't know what that is, or posterior chain, like glutes, posterior chain, booty, basically, all, all the same thing. I didn't lose any of my glutes, which I was really happy about up until now. I don't want to speak too soon, but I haven't really lost any of them. They did, I did lose like a little bit of fat kind of like under, under my glutes. So it lifted my glute and just made it look a little bit more perky. And towards like literally last week, um, so say like a week and a half now, that's when I've noticed the most changes. Um, I've started to see definition in my arms, which is very like, it's really hard for me to see definition in my arms. Like I don't have ridiculously toned arms. Um, but I did want to, one of the thing I did want was to see like a little bit of, um, arm tone edge and that has definitely come um, out a little bit more within the past week. Stomach tonage has just like, boom, that has come a lot, a lot, a lot within the past week. Right towards the end of the cut, it all seems to be coming together, which is exactly what I wanted. I do have another week left on my cut, as I said, so I'm not like fully at the end yet. Stomach's gotten flatter and more toned and more defined, which I'm really happy about because that is something I seriously struggled with a lot. Um, and yeah, I, I think that's down to a mixture of things. Like I said, food is really important. Um, sort of being healthy and eating nutritional foods, your veggies, drinking enough water. Don't overthink it too much. It's literally just drink your water, eat your nutritional foods, get to the gym and smash your workouts. It's really not as complicated as you may think. And um, like I said, I, I this was not a strict plan. This was not a, you need to do this, you need to stick to this. I went out with my friends for food. I drank alcohol like quite a lot during the plan. I mean, bear in mind, I do just drink gin and tonics, which is quite like a sort of calorie friendly alcohol. Um, but yeah, I'm not, you know, me and James go to Nando's. Me and James go, we went away for us to spa. We went away to London. Point is that I loved every single day of my cut. I still am enjoying every single day of my cut. I can't wait to do another eight weeks with all of you guys on the cut because I'm enjoying it. It's my lifestyle. I'm really, really enjoying it. And I think that is what I want to get people into. So that is pretty much how I got on with my eight week cut. Things that I was doing on my eight week cut I decided I wanted everyone to be able to have a go at if they were looking for something like I was looking for at the beginning of my cut. Not everyone can afford a nutritionist to help with the meal ideas or a PT to um, help them at the gym. So the one thing that I really wanted to get right um, when producing this eight week cut was the price. I wanted this guide to be so affordable for everyone. I wanted it to be a why not guide. So I spoke to the nutritionist I'd been working with. I spoke to Connor that had done my workouts and I told them exactly what I wanted to do. I told them exactly where I wanted it to go, who I wanted it to help, what we were trying to provide and they were both so down for it. From there, we started creating the Busy Bee Eight Week Summer Shape Up, which is released right now guys. And I'm so excited for us all to start like just, I'm just very excited. I've worked so hard on this guide. I really wanted it to, ref to reflect what had helped me and for that to help others. I'll put all these sort of screens and everything that you need to know uh, about the guides and every, like the eBooks and everything like that. They can just be rolling on over here. You guys can just screenshot them and have a little read after because I know this video is going to be so super long and I didn't want it to be too long. But basically the workout guide is a workout guide. It's a gym based workout guide. If you just want the nutritional food plans, you're going to do your own fitness guide at home and um, you just want to get the nutritional plans then please jump on ahead and get one of those as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was kind of insightful into the fact that 
anyone can do an eight week cut, even if you're as much of a chocoholic as me. Like you can make a change and it doesn't need to be super crazy. It doesn't mean need to be super scary. It can be realistic. It can be um, within your means. It can fit around your lifestyle. That is literally what I want you to think. You've got to find what works for you. You've got to find a lifestyle that works for you and what you enjoy. It doesn't mean it's not going to be a challenge. It doesn't mean that it's not going to be um, difficult. We've got to enjoy the challenge. We've got to enjoy the difficulty of things. Like, you're not, you're not going to make a massive change easily. You're not going to make um, sort of life changing and um, progress and things like that by just kind of trotting along with life. Things are meant to be hard, things are meant to be challenging, but it doesn't mean that they have to be unenjoyable. It doesn't mean that you need to be hungry all day. Mm -mm -mm. I do not do hungry, like, no, I get hangry. I'm just, no, I'm not a fun, hungry person. I really hope I've got everything across. I'm not really sure what I've even talked about for the last, like, 300 hours that I've been talking on this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I would love for you to join me on the ongoing eight week Busy Bee Summer Shape Up. Honestly, guys, like the nutrition, the workouts, everything together was such a life changer. And I can't wait to see everyone making progress and just enjoying gym, fitness, health life again. I'm so excited and I can't wait and I've worked so hard on it. So thank you so much for all your support, all your lovely messages, just all your, just all of you. You're just, I can squeeze you. You're so, so, so lovely. Thank you so much for all your support always. And I really help that, that help. <laughs> I really hope this is something that you're going to be interested in and that is going to benefit us all in the long run. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah.